Welcome all sports fans, everyone across the nation. This is Uneducated Sports Talk. I'm your host, Carlos Clay, with the lovely Miss Phyllis Jr. PJ's in the building. What's good, PJ? Oh, I'm ready, too. I'm ready. She says she is stoked up for an amazing week 18 of our picks and predictions. Let's get it, y'all. First of all, I want to thank y'all for the love and support, man. Right now, we're at 794 subscribers on our road to 800. We are almost there, my family and friends. Thank y'all once again for the love and support for this channel. Once we get to 900 subscribers, somebody's winning $150, and I don't have it on the screen. But when we get to 1,000 subscribers, somebody's winning a brand new PlayStation 5 plus a game of your choice, not mine's. Not there, but a game of your choice, you guys. Overall record, 152, 103, and 1. And PJ's record, 255, 0, and 1. So she never loses for some strange reason, right? Let's start off with our Saturday game. We got two games Saturday. One means a lot, and one kind of means whatever for, you know, for records or for positioning. The first one, which means a lot, is to the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Denver Broncos. You guys see the score here. We got the Kansas City Chiefs winning by a score of 26-13. And why I have that score, I think the Broncos are going to come out here and play some decent defense. They're at home, so they have the home field advantage. I think that they will go ahead and play the Chiefs tough. They will play Kansas City tough, in my opinion, but Kansas City is too much power. Kansas City wins 26-13 over the Broncos. I think the Broncos will play inspired defense, but just not enough offense on their side. I think Chiefs, it will be close maybe in the first half. Kansas City blows it out in the second half with a few touchdowns. Let's go to our next game on the docket, y'all. The Dallas Cowboys at the Philadelphia Eagles. And uh, for some reason, whether Dallas starts other guys or not, and I think they will start them, as uh, the Irishman just said that Jerry Jones said they will be starting, I know the Eagles will be doing the same thing. They can take guys out as much as they want, but I do. I believe the Eagles will start their guys as well. One, it's outside. It's Philadelphia. It's cold. The Irish fan says, I got the Cowboys. All right, yes, sir. Well, it's on, then, brother. It's on. Uh, I do believe the Eagles at home, in that weather, they will find a way to stymie uh, Dak Prescott in the offense, I believe, and take this W 25 to 20. I have a weird score, but I think somehow the Eagles will kick a few field goals, and here we go, right? 25 to 20 will be the final score, in my opinion. Eagles win because the Dallas Cowboys, they already have at least one home game. Now, they want to win and have everybody else kind of lose, right? So they, they can kind of go up there. And this is a good test, too. I like that Jared Jones said that the Dallas Cowboys will at least start their starters, right? Because it's a test. You don't want to go in and, I mean, you're on the road outside against a divisional opponent, uh, uh, and it's cold weather. Because eventually, you might have to do that to get to the Super Bowl, right? You might have to go through Green Bay. You might have to. So why not try and test that right now? Uh, and I like that. But I do think the Eagles, with their running, with running attack, and I think Jalen Hurts will be better than he was in that last game. I believe it was Monday Night Football, like week three or week four of the NFL season. And, and their office was still trying to find their rhythm. I think they find enough rhythm in this game to slow down Dak Prescott and company and also get a W against the Dallas Cowboys. We're going with a slight upset with the Eagles winning 25 to 20. The Washington football team will take on the New York football Giants. Mind you, I think the Giants are just out. Out of their mind, out of their body. They, they just don't care. Head coaches don't care. that They kind of have a feeling this might be it for them for most of the head coaches or most of the coaches, assistant coaches as well. So they're like, you know what? We don't even care. I, I got that feeling. They're in that locker saying, bro, like, obviously the coaches aren't saying that. But the players are like, bro, this, is, this season sucks, man. The one good thing I see about this season is Saquon Barkley did over the last four or five games get better as the season went along, right? He got better. I do think that uh, Washington's playing for pride. Uh, they just want to end their season on somewhat of a high note with – can they get at least, I think they have seven wins already, or was it, or was it six wins? Whatever, I think it's six wins. They want to get to seven and ten, and just have some sort of, uh, you know, some sort of hip-hip hooray going into next season. Now, I'll tell you what, though, it would be funny to hear that name, that Washington football team is going to change their name on February 2nd. 20 to 10 is our final score. Washington wins this game. All right, our next game on the docket, we have an AFC South showdown between the Tennessee Titans and the Houston Texans, y'all. Um, I think Houston being at home makes this a really good game. Honestly, I think it will be a fourth quarter game, right? I just had that feeling. Texas is going to play with a lot of pride at home. It will be a fourth quarter game. I like Davis Mills uh, as a, a lower tier starting quarterback or a high, high, high tier 
backup quarterback for anybody, man. The more desperate team is the Titans. The desperate team is Tennessee. They they want to win this game. Mind you, if they win this game, because if if KC wins, it puts so much pressure on Tennessee to win for uh, Week 18. They have to win that game, and I think a lot of that pressure is going to be the reason why the Texans stay in this game. But the Tennessee Titans defense will come to life somewhat in this uh, game. 24 to 14 is the final score that we have for the Titans and the Texas out. Next game on the docket, we have the Cincinnati Bengals taking on the Cleveland Browns. Baker Mayfield is out for the year. He's getting surgery. He probably had it a couple of days ago or yesterday, whatever he had it. But they are not going to be the same looking team. I think Nick Chubbs, who's a little banged up as well, he might see limited time in this game. There will be no Kareem Hunt. So, I mean, the Browns coming there just pretty much butt naked, right? Bengals wins 129-16. Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase are having some excellent time with each other. Man, these guys here are just balling out of control. And it's, a, it's another tough test. A divisional matchup on the road. How can the Bengals survive? We'll find out. Oh, yeah, the Bengals win over the Browns 29-16. to Our next game on the docket is going to be the Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Baltimore Ravens. And it's going to be an AFC North showdown between these two teams. The Ravens are officially out of the playoffs. It was tough to hear about that. But they are out of the playoffs. Lamar Jackson got hurt towards the end of the season and didn't play the last, I believe, what, three or four games of the season. Uh, the Steelers, they're still in it. The Steelers need a W in the worst way. But this game will be tough. The Ravens will play the Steelers tough, and Baltimore will love nothing more than to knock the Steelers out of the playoffs uh, contention for sure. I think the Ravens will play this game tough. They will play super tough. But I just got a feeling that the Steelers, the Steelers, We'll have just enough on the offensive side to get this dub. They'll win 21-19. I like the Steelers' defense. Our next game, the Green Bay Packers on the road against the Detroit Lions. I think the Lions will come out there and swing it for the fence just to say they got a dub over the Green Bay Packers. I think the Packers will play their guys for the first half and drop them down at the second half. I think Jordan Love sees about two quarters, third and fourth quarter. My goodness. So we got the Packers winning 23 to 17. I do think Rodgers gets him out to a nice lead uh, in that first half, and they sit him out in the second half. No need of risking Rodgers in the second half. Detroit playing at home. Dan Campbell's going to have those guys rowdy. He says, I don't give a damn who's at the quarterback. Let's go out there and win this game and send the Lions crowd home happy for next season. You guys over here, I did say Detroit Lions are your 2027 Super Bowl champions. You heard it right here. Detroit Lions. 2027 champions, y'all. I'm telling y'all right now, I'm not BSing. I said it about a month ago. Detroit Lions will be your 2027 NFL Super Bowl champions, y'all. Watch out now. But in reality right now, yeah, they're, they're, they're nowhere near that. 23-17, the Packers will win this game. All right. Um, all Steelers fans won't like this. We had the Colts beating the Jaguars 31-10. to As much as I would like for the Jaguars to kind of stun Indianapolis. Rooting for the Jaguars to win this game, but in reality, though, Colts will have too much firepower. Jaguars are just a shell of themselves. They are just a horrible team right now. Uh, and they, although at home, I think the Colts find a way to score easily. It's going to be the Colts' defense putting their offense in great situations. I feel like a, a couple of picks is coming Trevor Lawrence's way to end the season. Although, say what you want, he's had a decent season at the number one overall pick. I do like him. It felt very Peyton Manning-ish, you know what I'm saying, his season that he had, Peyton Manning's rookie season as well. I feel like once Jacksonville finds the right pieces, Trevor Lawrence will be back and ready. And I think watch out for year two for Trevor Lawrence. He might be something special, you guys. So watch out for Trevor Lawrence. Colts win this one, 31-10. A lot of Jonathan Taylor down your throat. The Chicago Bears taking on the Minnesota Vikings. This game means absolutely nothing. Next. No, I'm playing. We won't do it like that. Uh, this game is for pride. Obviously, 23-20 is my final score. I thought the Bears win this. I feel like the Bears with that defense. And I don't know who's the quarterback. It's, it's probably going to be Kirk Cousins, obviously. But even with Kirk Cousins out there, I don't know. I, I feel like it'll be a, 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 a good game. I feel like it'll be a really good game. I had the Bears winning 23-20 to because I think that they found some rhythm 
albeit against the Giants last week, they found some rhythm. And I think they'll find a rhythm in this game as well. Minnesota fans won't be as rowdy because their team is out of the playoffs, so nothing to really cheer for. This game means nothing, but it is pride of the NFC North. I feel like Bears fans will want the Bears to win this game uh, and not tank for the season. But I can easily see the Vikings win this game, obviously. But right now I have the Bears going 23-20. to All right, the 49ers take on the Los Angeles Rams. If this game was in San Francisco, I would have definitely said the 49ers win this game. But it's in Los Angeles. But I have a feeling, no matter who the quarterback is, whether it's Jimmy Garoppolo or Trey Lance, the 49ers will find a way to keep up with the uh, Rams, albeit the Rams playing at home. But the Rams are looking for that number two seed to secure it. So here goes nothing. The Rams win this one 31 to 28. It's going to be back and forth and forth and back in this game. I like it. The 49ers will come out with a nice running attack. But will the Rams be ready for it? I feel like for the most part, no. But I feel like the San Francisco 49ers defense will not be ready for the uh, Rams offense coming in. Should be a good one. And honestly, Whoever has the ball last will win this game, in my opinion. But I'm thinking that the Rams will score a game-winning field goal to beat the 49ers by score 31 to 28. Our next game on the docket, yes, I am a diehard Saints fan, but in my gut, I just got a feeling Atlanta Falcons would never, they would love nothing better than to spoil the Saints season. To spoil it. Atlanta went to New Orleans early in the season and won, I think, 20 to 10. It was an ugly game. Now, I can see my Saints easily win this game, but I got a feeling that. Falcons will find a way to win this game and break my heart. A low-scoring outcome, but I would love nothing more for New Orleans to find a way to win this game. The defense for New Orleans, I'm not worried about them. It's always the offense. Can they get open? Can they make plays? I have the Falcons winning 22-17, to 17, right? All right, now this will be our upset of the week. Uh, we have the Seattle Seahawks taking on the Arizona Cardinals. And, of course, Seattle would love for Arizona to have to play from the road. Mind you, the Rams are playing against the 49ers. a tough game, but they need that win because if they lose and the Cardinals win, the Cardinals are your NFC West champions. Uh, so, But I do think, regardless, the Seattle Seahawks will go into Arizona and beat the Cardinals by a score of 24 to 23. I think Russell Wilson and company want to end their, their run with Seattle on a high note. Everyone saying Russell Wilson is leaving Seattle? I don't think so. I don't see it. Not after one bad season, no. I think Russell Wilson stays in Seattle, but he's going to prove to the fans that, hey, next season will be different. I do think that Arizona finds a way to uh, sort of choke this game. I don't know why Arizona just, even when they were 10-2, I didn't really feel them. You know, I, I didn't feel them. They didn't scare me at 10-2. And, and I knew that they have a lot of weaknesses right now, but they're just playing on a high level. What happens when they get that loss, right? Seattle wins this one 24-23 in the upset of the week. Let's roll it out. We're going with the New York Jets taking on the Buffalo Bills, y'all. We had the Bills winning 31 to 18. Uh, the Jets will play tough, though. The Jets will play tough. I love maybe what eight, nine years ago, the NFL went back and said, you know what? The last two games, you're going to play your divisional uh, opponents. The last two games you will play the divisional opponents. So I love that the Jets are playing the Bills. The Jets, nothing to lose at all. The Jets will play tough. It will be cold. It will be in Buffalo. But the Jets are going to play this game tough. Buffalo does get a big window, 31-18. And Buffalo's going to win. And I believe they're going to be the AFC East champions uh, with this victory, 31-18. to A lot to play for. Josh Allen is going to have a nice game. I think he's going to run for two touchdowns and pass for another touchdown. Um, and I think it's going to be the Josh Allen show in this game. New York Jets, I love their making. I love Robert Sala. I love their team around them. But I do think that the Jets are going to play hard, but still end up with the L in this game. 31 to 18 will be the final score. The Bills get a victory over the New York Jets. Next game on the docket, y'all, we have the Carolina Panthers at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I think Tampa Bay will go running wild on this game. Will easily win this game. Easily win this game. 34 to 15. I don't see where the offense comes from for Carolina. Sam Donald's there at Cam Newton, the backup. Bye-bye to Cam Newton. He is done pretty much for his career. 34 to 15, Tampa Bay will uh, pass the ball crazy against Carolina. And Tampa Bay is with a win and maybe a Rams loss. Tampa Bay can be the number two seed. That is all they are hoping for right now, the number two seed, because Green Bay did uh, do that. But we saw that the Buccaneers kind of fell flat against the Jets, although Tom Brady 
did Tom Brady-like things in that game to win it. I do believe that Panthers have no answer at all for the Buccaneers. Buccaneers won 34 to 15. Mind you, they went into Carolina just two weeks ago and beat those guys, right, easily. So 34-15 is our final score. Here is another upset, you guys. Uh, we're going with the Dolphins to beat the Patriots if this game was in New England in January. This would be an easy Dolphins loss. This is Miami. Nice weather. And although the Dolphins are out of the playoffs now at 8-8, eight and eight, they want to have above 500 season, right? They're going to play hard. I think that Dolphins defense is the reason why they beat the Patriots. Patriots looked God-like against the uh, Jaguars. But honestly, who hasn't looked good against Jacksonville? Their defense is nasty, but I do think the Dolphins will play somewhat mistake-free football, and they will run that ball, uh, and they will make an ugly game, right? Make it ugly. Field position-like game. The Dolphins, if they do that, which I think they will, they'll win 20-17. to 17. It'll be an ugly game. So now we're going with our next pick. We have our final pick, our final game of the NFL regular season. It will come down to a conclusion. The winner of this matchup goes to the playoffs, period. And no other way to finish it in Las Vegas. Oh, it's going to be a good game, y'all. I think just because the matchup is so superb. But we got the Chargers winning 29-27 and by a game-winning field goal. This game is going to be so good. I'm claiming it. The best game of this week. And it'll be the last regular season game as well. What Something's going to happen. Something's going to happen. I feel like it's going to be that way. Something is going to happen that way where we see a, some exciting football towards the end, you guys. The Chargers will win this one. 29-27. This is our final week 18 of the 2021-22 season, you guys. Read them and weep them before we go. We're at 794 subscribers, you guys. Hit that like button as well and subscribe to Uneducated Sports Talk, man. For the homegirl, PJ, in the last words, girl. Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I said it's going to be a good week 18. She cannot wait, y'all. I can't wait. She can't wait. Thank y'all once again for the love and the support. As always, sports fans, for the homegirl PJ, it's your boy, Carl Clayton, and this is Uneducated Sports Talk. Sports fans, you guys know what time it is. Stay smart. Stay educated. Peace. Love y'all, man. Love you too, mama.